The luxury housing market is expanding. Parents are dishing out up to $75,000 so that their kids can play in homes just like theirs. These are play homes. These luxury children's playhouses are equipped with kid-sized kitchens, reading libraries, even media rooms. Michelle Pollock is the interior designer at uh, La Petite Maison, the creator of these high-end masterpieces. She joins us right now. Good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us, Michelle. Good morning, Maria. How are you? So the, we're, we were looking at some of the pictures. These are so beautiful. I mean, this is not like the playhouses that I grew up in, certainly. Um, what kind of demand are you seeing for these? You know, our demand has, pre, has stayed very steady ever since we began this business. We usually do anywhere from, I'd say, 6 to 10 a year. Very, very small niche because they obviously take a lot of time to produce. They're all hand built by Alan himself and designed. So even if the demand were more than 10 a year, we just couldn't fulfill it. We, we actually intentionally keep it small demand. Well, we've got an expert on set because Mike Murphy has five kids already with a sixth on the way. Um, yes. Mike, uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. I, I don't know that I could afford these for all of all them. All the kids could fit in that house. Some of us just think you're insane, but that, we love you anyway. That, that could be. But uh, I wanted to ask, uh, do you see a certain part of the country where you get the most demand from? Is it, you know, geographically located in the Northeast, or do you guys deliver these throughout the country? We actually deliver throughout the country. We thought we would see the most demand in certain geographic regions, of course, and as it pans out, it tends to be pretty much hit or miss. Definitely concentrated on the West and the East Coast, New York and uh, I'd say California primarily. Texas is big. And then we get these surprise requests from literally the middle of nowhere. Hmm. So it's a constant surprise. <laughs> and I think what you're tapping into is the fact that it, in this day and age, parents will do anything for their kids and they'll stop at no length. Um, so for some people, this is um, something their kids want. So they have to have it. So they come to you. I I think you said it even more eloquently than I could. Thank you. <laughs> what if the, here's a question. What do people do with these homes, these mini homes, after the kids grow up? Like, what can you use them for? Use them for? They, they're just decorative. Actually, we, and this surprised us as well. When we first started doing this playhouse business, we thought, well, the kids will outgrow them. Uh, people will leave them and as it turns out most of our clients do one of three things they'll either call us they'll ask us to figure out how to help them move the playhouse with them to their new home because of course our clients move and many times they will actually take the playhouse with them which is a very very involved endeavor however they do it uh, the second thing is they'll actually redesign and remodel the playhouse so that as the child gets older, it turns into a study room, a reading nook, an art studio. And then lastly, as the children leave home, we find that the parents actually utilize the playhouse. And then many times it is turned into a retreat, um, especially an art studio, again, a reading nook. It, people just don't mm -hmm. want to part with them, which surprised us as well. We love that, but it did surprise <laughs> us. And Michelle, you guys also make uh, dog houses, uh, correct? Are you seeing more growth there or in the uh, playhouses for the kids? Now, look at that no, dog the house. Play That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I like that. Uh, the, playhouses, <laughs> the playhouses are definitely our main business, and that's where our hearts are. The dog houses were more of a lark, kind of do a matching dog house with a matching playhouse, that kind of a thing. But the playhouses are the bread and butter of our business. So I was reading that there was one request that somebody wanted running water in, in the playhouse, and, and it was designed that way. What's the craziest uh, request or most expensive request you've gotten for, for these playhouses? You know, it... It's odd because each request we get turns out to be kind of crazier than the previous one. And then when you think about it and parse it down, it doesn't really seem that crazy. When we first started doing this, we got requests, of course, for running waters, play kitchens, media rooms, and we thought that was over the top. And then as time went on, we got more requests for things such as hurricane-proof houses, 
Um, house is built on earthquake proof foundations, which of course we have to contract out. Wow. But it, it gets a little bit more involved each time, yeah. It sure it sounds it. Michelle, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. We'll be watching the developments. Thank you. Michelle Pollock there. Thank